Chào các bạn, this is Lan again from Learn Vietnamese with Tiếng Việt ơi um, The topic of the video today is a request from one of our patrons um, Don't forget that if you are a patron and you pledge for 10 or more for video you will get to request a topic for video a month So um, the reason why he requested this topic is that he needed to post something back to America, his country and he went to the post office in Vietnam and he struggled a lot like with all the information and all the questions that they ask and also all the questions that he wanted to ask but couldn't I'm sure that he's not the only one who has been in that situation and desperately needed the vocabulary and the structure for this topic so the topic of the video today is gonna be vocabulary and structure for you when you're at the post office First of all, you need to know that there are two different things that you can send at the post office um, The first one is envelopes like this Letters and documents and stuff, you know So in Vietnamese, uh, all of these we call in a general word which is Thư 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 in Vietnamese is letter And uh, even though it can be contracts, can be insurance, can be different type of documents we use that one word for everything that just paper, you know? Things that you can send is packages like this or this. Uh, so for this kind of things, which is more like an object or like a product or something, it's not a letter, then you call it a bill kit. Bill kit or bill phẩm. Bill phẩm. Thư is normally put in these things which is phong bì phong bì if you want to ask for one at the post office you can just ask for phong bì nhỏ or a phong bì to and if it's not paper and you need a box for it then you can ask for a hộp hộp to save time though, you probably should like pack everything at home and just bring it to the post office uh, So you have got your letter or your package ready The next thing you need to know is the type information they request on um, the package uh, The main um, information you know, they normally ask is uh, I don't know if you can read but Người gửi Người gửi is like the sender and then normally you would put your address below So người gửi would be your name and then address Address in Vietnamese is địa chỉ địa chỉ And then they will always ask for your phone number in case they can't deliver it Then they will need to call you So that is information about you, the sender You will need information of the person who received the package which is người nhận người nhận so from this you probably work it out yourself that gửi is a verb to send something and nhận is a verb to receive something so this is the receiver and the same you will also need tên name địa chỉ address and điện thoại phone number of người gửi Sometimes when you have a package like this on the information paper they will also ask for the weight of the package um, You can just weight it at uh, the post office Weight in Vietnamese is trọng lượng. trọng lượng Now you have your package or your letter ready and you have all the information of the sender and the receiver also what you do next, you have to bring it to the post office, right? So, um, post office in Vietnamese is Biu Điện Biu Điện Most of the time when I post something, I just bring it inside the post office and give it to the staff and talk to them But uh, if you want to save time, you can just put it in the post box yourself um, post box or mailbox in Vietnamese is 
Hộp thư Hộp thư Or you can also say Hòm thư Hòm thư And in order to do that, then you need something here in this corner, which is tam. Tam. Pretty easy to remember, right? That's all the vocabulary that you need to know uh, when you're at port post office. If you go inside and talk to the staff, they will probably ask you a few different questions about um, your package. Um, the top questions that they can ask is Gửi nội thành hay ngoại thành So the word nội and ngoại are từ Hán Việt You must remember this term now uh, So nội means inside and ngoại means outside um, Thành is shortened for thành phố which is city So when they say gửi nội thành or ngoại thành it means is this package for inside the city or outside the city uh, I'm in Hanoi, so if I send to another address in Hanoi, it will be Nội Thành. If I send it to Ho Chi Minh City, it will be Ngoại Thành. Um, they can also ask you, and probably you will hear this question more considering your foreigner, uh, Gửi Trong nước or Quốc tế? Trong nước is inside the country. Quốc tế is international. So basically, it's domestic or international package. If you send a package like this, they will always ask what is inside. Sometimes they don't ask it, you fill in the information paper, but if they do, the question will be Bên trong có gì? Or Bên trong là cái gì? And because they want to make sure that they will not have to be responsible for the state of the condition of what is inside, uh, they will also always ask you to double check if you have đóng gói cẩn thận. Đóng gói like to pack something, the verb. Cẩn thận is the adjective, careful. So they can ask you, đã đóng gói cẩn thận chưa? Have you packed it carefully? Like, is there any chance of it being broken or anything? Also, they can check for the type of uh, delivery that you want. Normally, there will be two type of deliveries, which is gửi nhanh, fast delivery, and gửi chậm, slow delivery. If it's inside the country, trong nước, gửi nhanh would be on the plane, gửi chậm would be probably on the train. Uh, if it's international, quốc tế, gửi nhanh will be on the plane again and gửi chậm sometimes can be on the ship that you know can take up to one or two months one thing they can ask you to do is they will give you a piece of paper even though you have your all the information on the envelope already sometimes or maybe most of the time they will ask you to fill all the information again in their own type of paper so in that case they will ask you to điền thông tin vào đây điền to fill in Thông tin information vào đây, in here. So fill your information in here. So um, that's a few questions that the staff of the post office might ask you. You might have your own type question to ask them. And uh, I bet that there are many different questions. And uh, But uh, I will only teach you the two most basic and most important ones, I think. Uh, which is, mất bao lâu thì đến nơi? Mất bao lâu means how long does it take Thì đến nơi, đến to arrive, nơi, the place So mất bao lâu thì đến nơi means how long will it take for my package to arrive at the destination And the last one is Có theo dõi quá trình vận chuyển được không? I love this, like this used to be not a thing when I was smaller But uh, theo dõi is when you watch or you keep an eye on something Quá trình, process or progress and vận chuyển is the delivery uh, So có theo dõi quá trình vận chuyển được không means am I able to or can I track the delivery process uh, So normally on um, their paper that they give you there will be a tracking code or tracking ID and if you type it in their website then you can you wouldn't have information that like where your package is or have it been deliver delivered to the receiver uh, so yeah I think
that's all you need to know when you go to the post office. Um, if there's any more structure or vocabulary that you need to know, uh, just comment it and then I'll answer your questions. Um, I don't go to the post office that often, so I might have missed something. So yeah, just let me know, okay? Uh, that's all for today then, uh, and I'll see you in the video next week. That'd be it.